Hey, what's up, everybody? Bro Trio here, and we are going to hype up the chillest game imaginable. We are just overflowing with hype for Animal Crossing New Horizons. It, I mean, leave it to Nintendo to announce a delay and still have the hype overcome that. Oh, like, yeah. That was a big, big change. Like, I didn't expect it. But I also don't hate it. I want them to take their time with it, and they said they delayed it to avoid, like, crunching their employees and stuff, which, good on Nintendo for that. But also, I want a good title more than a early title. So, yeah. More than happy to have the delay if it means a good game, and good god, does this game look good. Oh, I uh, can't wait to get my hands on that. Oh, man. It, it just looks like Animal Crossing. If you don't play Animal Crossing, it probably looks boring as shit to yeah. you because you're literally just picking weeds and getting out of debt, and that's it. And, I mean, if... Yeah. I would highly recommend trying it if you haven't played an Animal Crossing game. They are oddly addicting and just one of the best ways to spend some time, like turn off your brain, just have some fun, casual activities, and it's just super fun and adorable. It's great. <laughs> but we're gonna, we have a little more structure for this hype train. We're gonna talk about what is confirmed in it, uh, what we speculate might be in it, our questions about it. And then just stuff we think is cool and think we should call out about it. So starting with confirmed stuff. The first thing we're going to cover is pretty much the only negative we've heard so far. Getting it out of the way early because we like to focus on the positive. They said there will be no cloud saves for New Horizons. <sighs> Yeah, that's, that's unfortunate. It's a bit of a bummer because if you have Nintendo Switch Online, you do pay for the cloud saves, and it's kind of disheartening that not every title supports it. Granted, they are few and far between of titles that don't support it, but it's things that you would really want backed up if you did lose or damage your Switch, like Animal Crossing, uh, Pokemon Let's Go did it. Yeah, look, I paid for that Super Pokeball, and I liked it, actually, <laughs> but... I got a Mew in there. If I lose my Switch or whatever, my $50 Mew, he's out the door. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, it could be the same for Animal Crossing. I hope they might do it later, but they did say they did it to, uh, like, I don't know, cut back on cheating, like, time travel mechanics and stuff, and, like, duplicating items. I would assume mainly the item duplication because... Yeah, I don't think they can do much about yeah, time travel. I don't know of any... Because if you can duplicate items, there's going to be, like, all kinds of things on eBay, like, oh, well, here's all the golden items, give me 50 bucks. Yeah, <laughs> and I would assume that's no, probably why. But Tom Nook will be proud of you for that. I mean, he definitely he would. would. That's the problem. He'd want to cut in. But I don't know of any player that has played Animal Crossing and not time traveled at some point, which is why yeah. the mechanics are even built into the game. You can do it in settings when you're talking to Isabel before you go into your town. <laughs> so I'm assuming that's going to be back, but it's just odd that Cloud Save isn't supported when you literally put so much time and bells into Animal Crossing that you would really want that backed up because it kind of sucks to start over especially in a game that has no ending yeah because like you're gonna be playing this game forever if you like it enough but moving on to the positives which this one's depending on where you stand is half positive half negative but since there are no cloud saves they did say there is an auto save feature which is great but Rossetti is retired. Yeah, he's and, out of a job. Yeah. He got nothing to do. They said he is going to be in the game. He has a new job. They have not said what it is, but Rossetti yeah. will be there in some like form. For the life of me, I can't think of what his new job would be. I hope you hire him to like mine under the island for minerals and stuff. That would be cool. Like you, like you I would be okay with that. Like you, you just pay like, him like 50 bells yeah. a day and he... But we'll what, would, what would he lecture you about with that? I don't know. He'll probably not, just start talking about something random. Not paying him? You just take his minerals and not pay him and he lectures you? 
I don't know. Maybe. He might just be old now and just ramble on about nothing. True, just like, man. back in my day, we mined for our own minerals, you youngsters. Or something You're like that. You're a friggin' mole, dude. I don't want to hear it. You're way better equipped for this than me. But, glad to hear Rossetti will be back. Um, another thing that is coming back, which is not really a thing because it's a person, is Isabel. They did say yeah. Isabel is in the game. She comes to the island later, which is why we didn't see her at E3 or in the treehouse or anything. But Isabel apparently, once stuff gets settled on the island, you get to, you know, yeah. interact with Isabel somehow. I don't know if it's going to be... I would imagine oh, yeah. it would be like, the same because you, I think you own the island, so you're kind of oh, the yeah. mayor, but you're kind not of like the mayor. Yeah. No, you're the king. Yeah, I, I don't know I don't what know. political <laughs> structure the island has, but <laughs> chieftain, you're something. Yeah. And, and I'm. So that makes sense. Yeah, she, like, she's a good secretary. Yeah. Role, like. and she's basically, <laughs> she's debatably at least the face of the franchise at this point. So they kind of had to put her in. Like, Tom Nook used to be the face of it. I think that has shifted to Isabel. Oh, yeah. Honestly. People love Isabel. I mean, she was the one that made it into Smash, not Tom Nook. Yeah. Nook so. <laughs> and one more thing to talk about on the confirmed stuff is they... Oh, two things, actually. I forgot about this one. Uh, they did say you get to choose where your villagers live. Whee! Which is good. So, like, if yeah. you have... A... I'm going to have one corner of that island where I just put them all. Because I don't... <laughs> That's incredibly antisocial, but you can do it. I don't... I would imagine if Isabel is something like what she was in the past, you could move them later. Like, I hope they're not just like, you put them here and they're stuck until you, like, you annoy them enough to move away. But uh, it's really cool that you can pick where they move because... Like, with this island, you could really set, like, areas, so you have almost like a wildflower park area, and it would suck if, you know, yeah. Hamlet just moved into the middle of it and <laughs> ruined it for everybody. See, I want, I want more ways to annoy your neighbors, too. That's just random off the top. I want to, like, mail them a box full of cockroaches. <laughs> Why? <laughs> so, to make them move. Good God. You're the oh. worst. I bet you were an absolutely terrible mayor. <laughs> yeah, I abandoned that town. <laughs> and the last thing that they have confirmed is going to be at the start of the game, you no longer have to have a cryptic conversation with some cat to make your face. You customize your face. Thank God. And <laughs> you can customize skin color for the... One of the first times in the franchise, I think you could in Happy, uh, happy Home happy Designer. Home, yeah. Sorry, Bob. You got nothing to do either. Yeah, Bob, the <laughs> faceless cat. You go sign up for food stamps with Rossetti, Bob. <laughs> but, God, all that that's, stuff. That's so exciting, because every Animal Crossing I've answered wrong, and I, my character looks so oh stupid, so yeah, I had to do to it. Like have three to look or four up a, times. If I don't look up a guide, I'll get the ones with like the saggy eyelids that looks like he's about to die. And I don't want that. Yeah. I would imagine the hair styling is also going to be changed like this. So no more quizzes to with that poodle to figure out how you want your hair to look. Hopefully. Which, want, thank God, because you could only do that once a day, and if you had a bad hairstyle, you were stuck with it for a day. What if we get real-time growth of hair like Red Dead? I mean, that could happen. Yeah. I don't see it happening whatsoever. Be because... sweet, though. But yeah, but that would... I mean, I, I never granted the whole game I... is based on chores, but it would be just be, you know, kind of weird if your hair got too long you had to go get a cut. <laughs> I would never get a cut. I wonder if they're going to include <laughs> beards. Ooh. That'd be interesting. Real-time beard growth. Yeah. <laughs> Moving on to speculation. Now, we have tons of speculation, but we have kept it to a concise three bullet point thing. And we want to know, is it going to be easier to visit your friends' towns online in this game than it has been in past games? Because in New Leaf, mm. it was annoying. And mm -hmm. sadly, Nintendo does not have the best track record for easy no, online. And New Leaf was the most Nintendo way to do an online thing. <laughs> 
Jesus. Like, it works good once they got in your town. It worked perfectly as it should. Yeah. But it was, you had to go to your town, go to the train station, talk to the monkey, tell the monkey you wanted to invite friends in, and then your friends had to go to their monkey and say, I want to look for friends. And then they had to jo- go to that, and then it was, like, really long loading <laughs> times to load them into your town. And it's like, it's like... You know, you're pushing A to get through it, like with Nurse Joy or that stupid owl, Kepagera, Bakabera, or whatever, in Ocarina of Time, and then you accidentally hit the wrong button, and they kill, they have to go through the whole thing again. Except with the monkeys, you hit the wrong button, and you, say you're trying to play online, you have to hit visit a faraway friend. Whatever. You accidentally click visit a close friend, and then you gotta start the whole thing over again, because you're just trying to make the monkeys shut up and let you play. <laughs> now, ideally... This would be fixed with a, I don't know, I guess like a online preference in the menu. Oh, yeah. That's good. Somehow, like if... I guarantee it's all from the Nook phone, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah almost. Like, guarantee. Because you just there's... pull up the Nook phone, go to your, like, visitation app or whatever, and be like, oh, well, they're... my friend's online. Let me go see him. You can tell Hopefully, them. it's drop in, drop out, though. That's yeah. really what I want. The Nook... Yeah, Nook phone has a teleporter. I mean, sure, why not? Could. That'd be better. Hopefully, it's just like you can set your online preferences to online, public, online with friends, invite only, not online, whatever. And that's what I want. That would be so awesome if I could just be playing and then it would just say, hey, visitor coming in, and not put me through a damn cutscene. <laughs> and then I go to the plain beach area and like Scotty's character is there. That would just be amazing. With my long flowing island hair. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, the next thing we would want would just be a quality of life improvement, which this game seems to be doing with the increased item space and pretty much everything it's shown. Is obviously not from the beginning because they would kind of not hold as much weight or be as special if you had it right from the get-go but you know maybe after your first couple houses or something you get a way to probably after nook upgrades the shop actually but you can buy a toolbox so you can oh, keep yeah. all your tools in a box that and not so have them awesome. take up all your pockets yeah, like, like a the, one pocket. like the fruit baskets yeah you know, for your tools and you don't have to keep all the dumb tools that you never use like the slingshot in an envelope like i did yeah, because that was a pretty good workaround, but I don't want to do that. And, I mean, that being said, Aaron brought up the fruit baskets. Fruit baskets. Uh, they do automatically go in baskets. I noticed yeah. that during yeah, the, the treehouse stuff. So if the toolbox is a thing, and you drop your axe, you pick it up, that would automatically go in that toolbox. Imagine if you had to buy the baskets. Oh my god, that would <laughs> suck. No, I wouldn't put it past that. Being though. said, though, I'd be totally fine with having to buy the toolbox. Yeah, okay. maybe, definitely. Maybe that's how it's not available at the beginning. Is it's expensive? Yeah, or rare crafting materials. You could craft it. Yeah, which is a good segue into our next thing. Is we want to set craft goals. This might be in the game. I'm not sure. We haven't seen it yet that I know of. But it would be very useful. Yeah, so you right. don't have to keep going to your Nook phone, going to crafting recipes. Looking yeah. at your thing, you can just like click it, say, I want to track this one, and then say you need five hardwoods. Yeah, you pick like up a... one hardwood, it pops in one of five. Didn't Monster Hunter World do that? I mean, a lot of games have yeah. done it. I just That's just the most reasonable. Just one like I as you pick them up, it's like, oh, well, yeah, this just is building toward that. Keeping like, track of it, pop it on screen real quick to let you know where you're at, and just, you know, again, another quality of life thing, which. In Animal Crossing, all you do is live, so definitely improve the quality of it. And that's it for our speculations. Now here are the questions we have. Going back to it, how does online work? We want this answered real quick. Yeah. Mainly so we can stop speculating on it, just because... Unfortunately, with Nintendo, when you speculate about online, it tends to go cynical and negative really quick and i really don't want it to be bad i want it to be perfect (laughs) yeah or it's the opposite and you think it's going to be just like a good online experience and then it's not and you're disappointed when it comes out yeah i mean i don't see animal crossing not being good online yeah i would hope because they made it's like such a 
I don't know, effort to show yeah. off how easy it is to play with them on your own island. And I mean, Nintendo does learn. They just backslide. Yeah. And, but they do learn. So I'm hoping they know to make it easier. Cause, but I don't know. Like, the cynical part's coming out where it's... I yeah, know yeah it's, it happens I know fast. I know yeah, there's going to be some fast. Nintendo crap to deal with this online. Like, you've got to have a separate friend code for every person yeah, you or have something. To just, like, they expect you to walk around with this 20-digit code just ready to go at all times. Just <laughs> like, oh, hey, you got a Switch? I got a Switch. Keep you have it. time to type in this code? It'll take you a minute. Keep, yeah, keep it in your wallet. Make cards at Office Depot and just hand them out to people you want to play Animal Crossing with. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, hopefully it's a very streamlined and easy process with new and existing friends. Yes. Because it, I'm assuming since you have the friends list on the Switch, hopefully you could just be like, oh, Daniel's online, I'm going to go visit his town. And then yeah, it would be click, perfect. Click visit town and that's it. But for new friends, yeah, there needs to be something set up for just an easy way to do that. Yeah, especially because Switch is mobile. Uh, if you could open, like, the gates to nearby players, like, say you're at Starbucks. We don't want gates anymore. You're encouraging well, them. Whatever. You're you encouraging them so you can bring the monkeys back. Okay, not that, the monkeys. I agree just, with like, his statement, though. You don't want to be like, playing at Starbucks and have some random person run up to you and start oh, yeah. whacking you in the face with a bug net. Should, you want to have the option yeah. to turn it on or off, there like I be, said earlier. Yeah, there definitely should be permission. Maybe Nook texts you and he's like, hey, man. This guy wants to visit. Is yeah. it cool? And then, like, you get a notification on your thing, like, hey, somebody nearby wants or open their gate. And they come <laughs> up and dig up all your trees, and then you hate them forever. Yeah, and it would be, like, you know, they That's could one do thing. that. I really hope the, like, item list or whatever that comes out of the items is for everybody. So, like, if somebody comes to your town and, like, gets all the wood out of your trees, it's not gone for you, too. Because that, that would make that would just piss me off if I'm trying to be sociable and then I don't get any resources that day. Oh, yeah. They're, they're some, getting that bug net to the face. There was sure. a jerk. And <laughs> I'll mail them a box full of cockroaches. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, I mean, this is a weird comparison, but hopefully it's like Borderlands 3 is <laughs> doing. And, well, because Borderlands Couldn't 3 be more different. is, like, they're doing this thing where, like, it's a looter shooter, for those of you who don't know. And in the past all the loot was what you got and now it's that loot is there for everybody when you're playing together so hopefully that's what Aaron said and it's yeah. there for everybody like he gets all the hardwood and the other friend gets all the hardwood too so everybody's happy you can buy a meat bicycle from Tom Nook oh my god <laughs> <laughs> moving on to crafting um, we want to know what can't you craft because from what it seems you can craft just about everything and I mean, I'm assuming. Okay, I like I love that the weeds are more than likely a craft thing. Yeah, oh, that yeah. is great. Yeah, because they're not worth any money. Yeah, you gotta. Then like you don't it. buy your own baskets. You gotta weave your own baskets. <laughs> oh no! Oh, you make this way worse. Uh, yeah, I like that. There's something to do with them. Like I'm guessing yeah. you can maybe like give them to people as presents or put them in a yeah. compost heap or something. I'm hoping that. Like, you have an option to buy stuff at some point. What, like materials? Uh, materials or the thing. Oh, yeah. Like I would assume you, that you if would. You're, yeah. If your axe broke and you really don't feel like it, you could just buy a flint of the axe. I can almost guarantee you, you'll be able to, because Nook is setting up just like you are. Like, he's not going to stay in that tent forever. He's used to, like, the high life. He's yeah, going like to build a... Once it gets to Nookington's... Yeah. Like <laughs> he's gonna build a little store, and then he's gonna build up to a freaking emporium. Oh, you conniving tanuki! Yeah. <laughs> Every time you come in with all your beautiful promises and massive debts, and I fall for it every time, you beautiful bastard. But uh, going back to our original question, yeah. we want to know what you can't you craft, and that is where we start speculating because I can almost guarantee you. The golden tools, like the golden axe, yeah. golden fishing rod, I can almost guarantee yeah. you can't craft them. Unless there's maybe just like gold and it, it's super yeah. rare. Or if yeah, it's like but, a, or if there's like a master recipe that you unlock like if, after you craft everything in that tree. You would have yeah. to, I can see the master recipes being a thing, 
But typically, like for the golden fishing rod, for example, you don't get it until you catch every fish. Yeah. And then you yeah. get the awesome fishing rod, which at that point okay, it's almost that, useless. So that's one random like tangent. It. Let them give me fish and vice versa, bugs. It was like, hey, you seen this bug yet? Like, hey, no, I haven't seen that. I'm not a time traveling dummy like you. <laughs> I'd be like, well, I got it. You want it? And they're like, yeah, I'll take your cheat time travel bug. That'd be cool. Just a little bit of sharing between players. And, I just, you know. yeah, I just want to be able to exchange uh, the animals. Now, Is going that... back to the tools, though, I'm wondering if they're going to be Nook rewards. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. can almost guarantee like it. A, like, it seems like, like it you earn enough miles with doing whatever chores you're doing and then it's just like oh well you you can have a gold shovel now yeah that's what or that or the master recipe for the gold shovel i could yeah after scotty brought that up it really started turning yeah, the gears I could, in I could my see head it going either way i think it's going to be the master recipes with how hard they're leaning into crafting and then uh staying on crafting we want to know how rare are the rare materials and is there a daily materials cap? Guarantee there's a cap. I know there's a cap of some kind. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if hopefully it's like daily. Just, you hopefully can't. it's like super high. I would imagine daily because there's a lot of crafting. So I'd imagine you can shake every tree like once a day. And yeah. Get all that wood. I'm hoping it's kind of like bi daily. Like they'll, like, I don't know, re put out new wood after noon or something like you oh, can yeah, do yeah. some yeah. crafting harvesting in the morning and some at night possibly that, yeah different stuff is good. more likely to show up at day or night for some reason that's i gonna, can see that that's happen. definitely gonna yeah, inspire me that. to have more trees though i know it's like i'm gonna have the corner with my people because i don't want them near me <laughs> and then in the middle i'm gonna have an amusement park i assume and then the other corner. Don't know where that's coming from, but okay. The other corner's tree place. I just have all my trees. Where are you gonna live? In the bottom. Oh. And I, you're that, just gonna stay on the beach. That, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna live on the beach, and that way I can go fishing and then go right back to bed. And never talk to anybody. <laughs> and then amusement park and tree corner. <laughs> <laughs> your, your island sounds like a riot. <laughs> but um, you will need some rare materials well, to build with, that. And I'll pay park. over all the grass except one patch. That way I have my weed garden. Oh, God. <laughs> well, I tried to segue. He ruined it again. Uh, <laughs> we want to know how rare the rare materials are. For example, the main one we've seen so far is you have, I think it's soft wood, regular wood, and hard wood. <laughs> yeah. uh, you can also sell uh, weed in the game too. You can giggle at that, but uh, that's not as funny. Yeah, but it's four hundred twenty bells. Is it really? No, it's not. <laughs> I was about to say that's a pretty good price. <laughs> um, we want to know how rare hardwood is. Like, I imagine it's probably like a one in ten chance you'll get a hardwood, and like a eight in ten chance you'll get a regular wood. I would think softwood might be rare too like not the lowest tier of rarity or something yeah <laughs> but yeah we really want to know because if i need stop it soft was pretty rare for me <laughs> no <laughs> <laughs> uh, i want to know how much i can get of the top tier rarity of wood versus the lower tier because some of the stuff that is worth crafting will require top tier materials i'm sure and I want to know how soon I can get them. So moving on to the last portion of this video is just the stuff we want to call out. Because damn, this game looks good. And it has no right to look this good because oh, yeah. <laughs> it's Animal Crossing. I mean, just like, damn, look at that bug. Look at the water. Look at the snow melting when it hits the freaking ground. Like, that is incredible. And I yeah, mean, and like the shadow effects, the are shadows ridiculous. are crazy. Look how wet the leaves are. The you like apples? Look at these apples. The footprints look better, even. Like the footprints oh, look yeah. more like in. It looks like in the they older have ones, it was like a sl a spot. That's just where you step. Yeah, Metal Gear Solid One, and now it's like <laughs> now uh, it has depth. It has, it has depth. a shadow. Like, yeah, whose footprints are these? That kind of, it's got depth now. I'm so excited. 
it's crazy like how good this game looks the bugs yeah. look almost real which is weird it still looks cartoony yeah. as all hell of course well the character, other than the bugs and the yeah. fish i know but you're playing as like a puppet child but yeah but they're yeah. like hyper realistic almost the it's bugs. crazy <laughs> I saw a slug on one of the rocks. It looked kind of like a cartoon slug, but slugs are kind of a cartoon in real life yeah. anyway. Worth noting, yeah. or snail. snails are on rocks yeah, snail, now. They slug. used to only show up on flowers, so they're changing how the insects work and like their spawn locations and stuff, which is really cool. They're probably bait. That they can I bet go so. on more stuff. Yeah, you can craft bait. You can oh, craft chair. You I want can... every bug to be bait. You can craft pretty much anything other than the gold tools we're assuming but god does this game look good we oh when does it come out again march 20th god march yeah. correct me if i'm wrong 20th. pretty sure i'm right i think that's right that, that sounds, sounds right. right and i just can't wait hopefully i mean e3 like just ended a few weeks ago but i already want more and i hope we get another direct soon with more animal crossing info in it Thanks for watching. Thanks for putting up with all of Scotty's hardwood jokes in the middle of it and our bickering through it. Hope y'all liked it. Hope y'all are hyped for Animal Crossing. If you are, let us know what you're hyped about in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll catch y'all next time on Bro Trio.